Hi guys. All right. It is now the morning after the morning after. It is a spectacularly gorgeous, over the top beautiful Sunday morning here in the end times in Doomsday Trailer. The morning after the morning after the uh, mushroom trip where I finally sent uh, my little uh, my little impossible dream off into the ethers hopefully hopefully never to return and uh, so now I get the second day of Digging through the layers of the onion uh, about the repercussions of what I did yesterday. You know, the the last words. Uh, <laughs> anyway, I don't know how many. If, if one person on the planet made it uh, to the end of that fifty minute, uh, whatever that was yesterday. Uh, where you heard uh, the object of my affection and this was purely the universe this was not planned when I deleted the the last talisman of hope that I had remaining in my heart and in my life you heard the uh, the the little uh, succubus who has who had taken over my heart for four and a half years, screaming something, but you know, in some rant, uh, you're fucking up, man. Which will probably be the last words <laughs> I ever heard from this woman. So uh, anyway, with, with that final, uh, with that final close, uh, I have now had a, another day and night to uh, to to dwell on what I what I did yesterday. And basically, what I'm learning is, you know, for, for every action, there is a reaction. For every give, there is a take. For every push, there is a pull. So uh, I, I, I balled up my courage and deleted out of my life the very last vestige of hope I had for my for for my future uh, the very last vestige of hope in my heart uh, and set it out uh, in, in, into the universe so now uh, that I've done that instead of having a toxic succubus uh, you know t taking up my heart I, I now have nothing I have nothing uh, I, I have just this big empty space And I, I, I can say with, uh, with, with full authority now, I have abandoned every last hope for my life. It's gone. I, I've been, been clinging, pathetically clinging to... Uh, to, to this uh, little leaky life raft uh, as I, you know, going under and I, uh, I let go of the life raft 
and now here I am, just just sinking, uh, with nothing to look forward to for the rest of my life. I mean, we I mean, we we don't even need to talk. Uh, this, this we're not even talking about the state of the fucking planet here. Okay, this is not a rant. This is a whine. I lost all hope uh, 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 about the state of this planet, the future of humanity, the, the future of every earthling we share this planet with, that we're obliterating off the face of the fucking earth. I lost all hope in that uh, years ago. So that is a rant. Uh, I, th th it's not even that, that. That's a whole rant. Uh, but but I've been having that rant uh, for ten years. But through all of my whining, I I, I have always had one little slim connection to the 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 very concept of hope that uh, this, this this toxic succubus uh, it was, was the one uh, who was going to uh, to what hambone to fucking what and now she's gone So I guess I'm down to the little dog. You know, guys, when when this little dog dies, uh, the 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 very the very thought of of me losing this little dog, uh, this this little dog is the only thing. I have on this planet. What do you think? It, my my only li little slender grasp of uh, of joy in my life, in in, in in my completely now hopeless, joyless existence, is this little dog. My, my future is, uh, you know, like millions if not billions of other people. It, it's, it's not like I, I, I'm claiming uh, I, I'm, I'm anything special here. Uh, I, I'm 64 fucking years old. Uh, I have nothing to look forward to in my life except growing older... Uh, growing weaker, growing more feeble, losing more teeth. Uh, it's just, every time I open my fucking email, it's another one of my former friends dying. Uh, just watching all of my uh, former friends uh, just, uh, just getting sicker, uh, the cancer, the heart disease, the, the God knows what. I have, uh, it, it's this absolutely gorgeous Sunday I, I have nothing to do with myself today. I have nowhere to go today. And on top of everything else, I sure as shit don't have anyone to meet today. I can say the same thing about tomorrow. I can say the same thing about the next day. I can say the same thing about the next day. Uh, well, what, what I have to look forward to is sitting here uh, talking to my little imaginary friends 
out there in cyberspace because I don't have a fucking human being uh, out of 8 billion uh, on this planet to, uh, to, to meet up with and, and, and uh, have some goddamn two-way conversation, uh, m much less a, a, a goddamn woman uh, in, 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 in my arms. I, I, I have lost all hope of ever feeling the touch of a woman again till the day I die. I, I, I see nothing. I, I see uh, now that I have finally pulled the trigger on, on this little fucking uh, j just the, the, this weird little uh, ego defense mechanism uh, that I've had in my life for the past four and a half years. What now that that ego defense mechanism has has fallen out of my life? Uh, it, it's it, it's just. Uh, I just, uh, my future is a blank slate. There is going to be a few moments of, uh, of joy. It's not like I'm, I'm claiming I'm never going to experience uh, joy or pleasure. There, just like in any life, uh, there's going to be a few isolated, scattered moments of, of joy between now and the day I die. But by and large, what I have to look forward to is a life of excruciating boredom, loneliness, depression, Suicidal ideation, uh, just uh, just this empty, brutal, fucking pointless existence. Life's a bitch, and then thank God you fucking die. My only hope being that I can go out like Michael Dowd. You know, the, the last day that Michael Dowd was alive, you know, did, did Michael, did he wake up in the morning uh, wishing that he was going to go to bed that night and just never wake up. Go to bed and never wake up. You know, I, 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 I probably shouldn't go here, but, but, but I'm going to. So I was watching the latest video of this fellow last night. I don't know whether this man, uh, he's somewhere between, somewhere between one of my imaginary friends in cyberspace in a flesh and blood uh, brother of mine. I have uh, never met the man, never will, but uh, I've, I've, I've gotten a little bit closer to this man than the, than the general, uh, you know, the general imaginary friend that 99% of the few people on the planet listening to this are and, and, and I'm and, and I'm listening to to this guy who he has turned over a new leaf in the the year 2024 that he is uh, he has uh, like I the reason I think that he and I have somewhat bonded is that we have both suffered 
from uh, depression for most of our lives. So he is he has decided to turn over a new leaf in the year 2024 and just force himself not to be depressed, not to be hopeless. And and I really wish the guy. Uh, I, 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 I really wish this man, I, literally, brother, I, I, I wish you luck and success in forcing yourself to no longer be hopeless and, 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 and depressed. But, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm watching this guy last night. I, I couldn't take it for more than about three or four minutes and I and I'm listening to his words and looking in his eyes. I I I I I'm, I'm hearing the words, I'm seeing the mouth move, but I'm looking into his eyes and the his demeanor, his his tone of voice but mainly the look in his eyes that uh, I, I see in so many uh, lonely old men with broken teeth. And the eyes don't lie. The eyes of the, are the mirror of the soul, as uh, we saw in that infamous photo yesterday. You know, the, the borderline personality has, a, has an eye, has a look in the eye. And uh, you, 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 you can tell yourself, you can tell the world, uh, just announce to the world that you're no longer hopeless and uh, and, and 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 depressed. Uh, maybe if you say it enough times, you'll start believing it. So uh, I wish I could believe this man. Say, speaking of, of flesh and blood brothers, you know my brother lives about three hours from here. This is my brother who I have not spoken to in four years. My other brother, I have not, well, one of my brothers is dead, so I haven't spoken to him since 1992. My second brother, I have not, who lives in Atlanta, I have not spoken to since 1997, since our mother died in 1997. The last email I heard from him is, your check is in the mail, which is exactly what I wanted to hear from him. He was the executor of my mother's will. Uh, haven't heard a peep out of that man in 27 years. I think I would hear if he died. I'm not 100% sure. And my other brother, uh, who I never had an argument with, he lives three hours from here. We have not spoken in four years. Sandy met. Uh, that was the last time, Sandy, the, the last time that I saw George was that time I was with you. It was the last time... I laid eyes on my brother, uh, was that in February of 20, probably February of 2019, uh, was, he was giving me this canoe, we were camping on Fish Eating Creek, so he just told me to come get the canoe and don't worry about bringing it back. And that was the last time 
So that would have been February of 2019. This man lives three hours from me. That's the last time we laid eyes on each other. Uh, the last time we spoke in person. I can't remember if we had a... a um, Telephone conversation. One, one phone conversation? I don't think so. Uh, you know, he was a casualty of the corona panic. Now, he, he never got corona panic as far as I know. But he... Uh, and, 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 and he did not disagree necessarily with me. He was not a corona pussy. He was not a mask Nazi. I don't even know if he was if he's been vaccinated. I assume he has. Uh, I, I, I don't know, but uh, our relationship, our blood brother relationship, uh, e e even though uh, we, we, we were not necessarily uh, on different pages on the subject, destroyed for the rest of our lives. I, I will never have a relationship with, with, with my brother over, over that fucking bullshit. The last communication I had with him was... You know, when I found out in uh, in March of last year that my dear sweet ex-wife had died. Uh, and so Caroline and George were, were, were friends. I mean, my dear sweet, now late great ex-wife and my brother, they always got along great. So uh, they enjoyed each other, so they were friends. And so I emailed him. This was the last contact I had with uh, my brother was 10 months ago. I emailed him that Caroline had died. And I got back the email, sorry for your loss. Those were the last four words that I have ever heard from my brother. Very well might be the last four words I ever hear from my brother, uh, who, I, who I never had an argument with. Uh, sorry for your loss. It's just like the last four words from my toxic succubus that I might ever hear about your fucking up, man. You're fucking up, man. Sorry for your loss. So who will the next loss be? Uh, who, who is my next friend? Uh, that, that, that's going to fucking drop dead. So that's my life. That is my life. Sunday, January 28th, 2024. It's going to look a hell of a lot like Monday, January 29th, 24. So I guess I will, uh, I will wrap up this cheerful little whine talking to uh, my imaginary friends. And, uh, well, I guess I will go, uh, doom scrolling.
Now that I've worn out how fucked I am, uh, let's go find out how fucked the rest of the planet is. What do you think, little dog? You want to go find out how fucked the rest of the planet is or what? Beautiful sunny day. It is a beautiful, bright, sunny day. The world is my oyster. I am going to seize this gorgeous Sunday in the end times. And, uh... I guess stick my thumb up my ass and uh, sit here and stare out the fucking window like the lonely old bitter man with broken teeth that, uh, that I have turned into. Maybe I'll go over to Pile of Fish and and go through the ads from all of these women looking for a a uh, lonely bitter old man with broken teeth stranded without love Bye, guys.